Hey guys, we are back with another Skylanders redo review video. And we are going to do it on Flame Slinger. Get like a nice clear image of him. It's a fun little figurine. Originally, I had him on Marksman. Decent path. But I got requests to do him on uh, his Pyromancer path. So you asked for it, you got it. So what we have here is Flameslinger level 10, Fire Element Skylander. All 32 heroics are done. He has a Napoleon hat on. It does 5 armor and 5 elements of power. It doesn't matter. It just looks cool on him. I like it on him. Powers. We have Fire Arrow. Shoot flaming arrows at your enemies. Flame Dash. Hold B on the Wii Remote to dash forward, leaving a flaming path of destruction behind. Searing arrows. Fire arrows do increase damage. Column of fire. Draw a circle with the flame dash to create a fire column. Flame dash does extra damage. Volley shot. Press Z on the Wii Remote to fire flaming arrow rain down on your enemies. That's a fun one because you can hit anything on a platform really easy with that. Hyper shot. Shoot fire arrows much faster. They shoot much faster indeed. So, like I said, I chose Pyromancer. So, first one we got was Napalm Tipped Arrows. Fire arrows leap behind a burning patch, damaging enemies that touch it. At first, I didn't think it was really that great, but overall, I'm kind of impressed. Like, I kind of like what it has to offer. It's neat. Burning everything. Inferno Blast. Hold A on the Wii Remote to charge a flaming Inferno Blast attack. Release to fire. This is different. You hold A down to shoot a really big arrow, and the arrow shoots, and as long as it, uh, wherever it goes, it leaves a whole trail of fire behind it, like if you were doing the flame dash. So it's interesting. Supernova. This thing is awesome. Drawing a circle with the flame dash causes fire to spread out, doing more damage. Now, get this. You can do the circles anywhere you want. They don't have to necessarily circle an enemy and it'll just shoot this huge shockwave. I've eliminated so many guys by doing that. You don't have to do a circle around anyone anymore. Just do a circle anywhere and it explodes. Like I think that'll be amazing with player versus player. I truly do. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel stupid. Now he has everything. Wow. Jeez, Dan. Good job. My bad, I didn't even see that. Super Volley Shot is a soul gem. We have Flaming Arrow Range. Shoots more arrows that cover more area. Requires soul gem and Molkin Mine. So now that's all of his abilities. Wow. Wow. Smooth, Dan. Alright, so... We are going to go to Lair, Lair of Chaos. He will have the Elemental Advantage here. So it's even better to do it here. And I'll let you see what you think of him. To be honest, I think he's more of a threat in this path because of that flame dash ability and the fact that he leaves fire everywhere. It's a little more uh, useful compared to just shooting three arrows at once. I love that path, but I have a feeling this might take the cake. Strange as that sounds. See, first off, just leave all these little patches of flame, let them just burn everything alive. It's great. Now I'm going to hold A. Shoots a column of flame. Watch this. It's not bad. I mean, the speed. Well, watch this. Look at that. Sorry, I'll do it actually when enemies don't die. See, that's what I'm talking about, though. The flames just keep going. It's pretty impressive. And his speed boost to boot is just incredible with the fire. It's a speedy little demon. Here's the super volley shots. But now, thing is, once the volley shots land, I already have all the fire to uh, burn everyone with. Once again, watch. Patches of fire will just already be there because of the ability. Taking them out, no problem. I kind of like the fire path more, I'm not going to lie. It's weird. Alright, see, so draw a circle. Look at that. It just terminates everything that touches it. It, it kind of reminds me of like a Dragon Ball Z type of move. It's just that awesome. I'm a big DBZ fan, so I might relate stuff to that more often.
He's not meant for close range, though. Be careful. When you do player versus player, you have to be careful. That is his weakness, is going up close to him will automatically shut him down. But with this, though, I feel he might actually do all right, because the fact of the matter is that um, he doesn't necessarily... Uh, he doesn't... Uh, just lost my thought. Wow. <laughs> this is awkward. Um... Oh yeah, him close up. Jeez. Yeah, uh, him close up though. If you have the flame patches and stuff, it won't be a bad idea to be honest. He could actually pull his own a little bit more than per se the one that only relies on bows, which is interesting. Interesting uh, ability to actually do. I love that. It just burns everything alive. Not to mention, it leaves trails of flame behind all over them, so they're burning constantly. So I think that tiny little petty damage is what's really going to make him shine with his ability. He's pretty remarkable, though. I'm not going to lie. I honestly, I'm not trying to be a salesman or anything, but, I mean, go get him because either path, he, he's a win. He's a win-win. But I'd say Pyromancer just takes the cake because of its... Uh, Flame abilities, I guess, pretty much. The fire arrow thing is just a little generic, a little monotonous when you do it constantly. But, um, yeah, that's my two cents on it. I, at the moment, I really like Pyromancer. I've yet to try it out in Player vs. Player. We will see. When I can get my friends over, we will try it out. But, overall, I, I'd say it was a good idea to switch it up. So I'm hoping this taking these risks will, uh, Proved to be worthy for also Drobot. You guessed it. I'm doing Drobot's uh, Clockwork Tower, uh, Clockwork, tower, clockwork uh, ability next. I know people are saying they don't like it or whatever, but that's what I heard about um, Lightning Ron. I love this cloud thing. So for now on, I'm gonna be my own judge. That's how it's going down. Although Stealth Elf, I'm not looking too forward to switching her Pook Blade staff. Um, Saint. Because I love that ability. It's overpowered like crazy, but I just don't see the Scarecrow being any good. I had a fan of mine make a video, which I thought was awesome. Check it out. It's should be a video response to uh, my Stealth Elf video. Check it out. Um, but he did a good job showing all the abilities and stuff. It just does not look like my uh, typical thing to do. I don't know. Just doesn't look that appealing to me. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, like I said, I'll probably try just for you guys only. Ah, let me get a circle on. Come on, Jesus. That's the only problem is sometimes the circles don't work out. But the cool thing is you don't have to worry about just doing it for uh for just around someone. It's much more useful now. And I love that. Cause look at that. Like, the amount of damage range that covers is crazy, because, um, now, you can handle anyone in player vs. player, is my thoughts. You can do so much more with him now, and I think that's really awesome. I'm not doing, uh, Chaos's battle right now. Stay tuned, though, and I will be doing all the elements versus uh, Chaos. I plan to do life first, because I got the request first, and the rest is just up for grabs. I'm just going to do all four of them, whatever paths I want, maxed out, and then we're just going to go to town with just those four, and we'll see how good we do. If they're trained like my guys, I mean, I don't see it being a problem. So, with that being said, have a great day, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.